Okay, I'm going to start this look by using this All May Intense Eye Color. Um, it says it's smoky eye for brown eyes, but I never use it that way. I usually only use the crease color and the dark color, and because I don't like that gold for the bone, for the eyebrow bone. So I'm going to start by taking this dark color here and putting it right here on the outside. So. Okay. And then next, she has like a bronze color in the middle. So I'm gonna take this Maybelline 260 Copper Craze from Modern Metallics Collection and put that right in the middle. And I'm just going to use the same brush I used for the darker color. And for the inner corner, I'm going to use this Ulta eyeshadow quad, and I'm going to use this color. It's called Silk. Okay, I'm going to use this brush. Take a little bit. It's so weird doing my makeup in front of a camera. I've never done this before. I know I'm probably not supposed to be blowing the excess off, but it just so it doesn't get under here, and I won't have to redo that. But it looks like it already did. Okay. So take a little bit of that light color. Put it right there in the inner corner. Rubbing some down a little bit too. I'm usually not a big fan of the inner corner being really bright and white. Wow, I got a lot underneath my eye. Ignore that. I'm usually not a big fan of the inner corner being bright and white and um, so intense, but I really like it in this look. Alright, and with this brush, I'm going to take them and just blend them really well together. Take this and go right around the crease. Just blend them all. I know you're not supposed to touch your finger, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. And then blend, 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 blend. Especially this darker color right here. I'm definitely going to blend. Wow, I hope the mirror wasn't in the way. Okay, so now what I usually would do is take this paper towel or baby wipe or whatever I have just handy laying around. Just take a paper towel or baby wipe and wipe off the underneath. Wiped off the underneath. I'm just going to redo that primer with my, um, where did it put it? Okay, it's right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of the CoverGirl foundation, liquid foundation, and put that underneath. Alright. Okay, and then take your... Of course, maybe it's Maybelline. Um, this is the lightest color it comes in. Because I'm so white. I think this is actually just a setting powder, but it's the same color as my skin. Of course. I'll take that and just press it underneath. Make it all look smooth. Okay. Now, for her eyeliner, in this picture that I'm looking at, I cannot tell if she has a lot of eyeliner on the top. I never wear eyeliner on my top lid at all, top line, whatever, at all. So, I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my waterline right here, and um, hope for the best. Hope it turns out okay. But for this, I'm going to use Ulta Contour Eyeliner Pencil, and it's double-ended. It's uh, black-brown. One end is black and one end is brown. Of course, the brown for this look. I think this one's brown. I can't tell. Anyways, I'm going to take the brown. Of course, I'm going to get my lighter and just... Okay. I'm not going to do all the way across either. I'm just going to get right here in this corner. tiny bit I'm 
just gonna smudge it a little bit over here. Alright, to this look, one of the most important steps is the mascara. Um, to every day, my everyday look, mascara is the most important thing to me. I'm gonna start by curling my lashes, and then I'm gonna apply two different kinds of mascara. And um, one is volumizing, and one is lengthening. So start curling both of them, of course. And I only apply mascara to the top lashes, but I'm going to start with this, I don't know where I got this, I think I got this at Kohl's, um, Flirt, Big Flirt, Thickening Mascara in Black Wink. Okay, the brush looks like this, I'm not a fan of these brushes, but this one is, uh, maybe it's just the mascara, but I usually don't like these brushes, um, but this one works really well. Okay, and like I said, I'm only going to do the top lashes. I don't like mascara on the bottom lashes. Now that you've done that, I'm going to... Where's my lash curler? I'm going to curl them again. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I've done this. I've done it like this. I do it like this every day. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my second mascara, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Of, in my last video... What was it my last video? The video before my last one, I mentioned how much I love Revlon Custom Eyes Mascara. And I always keep it on the second dial and it says length and definition. I absolutely love this mascara. I'm not really sure where I got it. Probably at Bell's Outlet because their makeup is really cheap and I love it. Um, so I'm just going to apply this to the top lashes. And if you guys want to go buy this, it looks like this. I don't know if they actually sell it in, like, drugstores anymore because, um, I, I got that last Christmas, 2010 Christmas. So I'm going to curl my lashes one more time. And, um, in the picture I'm looking at of Allie Trippy's wedding makeup, she has a lot of bronzer and foundation on. I never, ever, ever put a full face of foundation on. I never have and I will never, I probably never will. Um, why? Because my skin is so fair. It's so hard to find one that matches my skin. Okay, like I was saying, I don't like a full face of foundation. I don't think it looks nice on me and I can never find the right color for my skin tone. But, um, other than that, in the picture, Allie Trippy, I'm sorry, I'm running out of memory card room, but in the picture, Allie Trippy is wearing a light pink lipstick and that looks great with her tan skin. But I'm just going to add this Lip Vitamins. It's kind of a deep red color. And just apply that. And I'm not a big fan of lipstick, so you won't ever catch me using that. Anyways, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I've been looking forward to making this video for quite a while, ever since I saw the montage video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.